Hey guys, I actually have a crazy one for y'all today. I don't normally do like the whole story time thing, but today I want to talk about the Roblox hacker, Cool Kid. Uh, it's it's C00LKIDD. In case you're wondering how to spell it, don't recommend looking this guy up. Um, you never know what link you could accidentally get into. But this guy, is, he's like a notorious villain. He is a Roblox legend. His name will travel fast. Like, he has a massive following, a huge reputation, has been banned like 30 times. We're about to dive into the thrilling tale of Cool Kid, the digital legend. Let's rewind to 2013, a time when Roblox was buzzing with excitement. Picture Cool Kid, not your typical player. He created a gr group called Team Cool Kid. Not very creative, but if you're a hacker, you don't really have to be. I mean, they can't all be winners. You have, like, you have your wins, then you have hackers. I feel like they keep, like, their branding simple, but, like, their hacks, like, intense. You can't... It's like a balance. Now, every good story needs a tool, right? And Cool Kid had the cool GUI. It's like a hacking tool that allowed you to mess with Roblox games with just a few buttons. I think I think with that tool that he made that like he gave access to his people it was able to like destroy games like I'll get to that later I'll list all the games but some of the things that it also messed with was Roblox sky skyblocks is if you don't know what a skyblocks is it's what they call like the backdrop in the sky if you've gone into a game you probably notice hey that sky looks realistic or hey it changes to night sometimes it's pretty cool Skyblocks is actually something that is created as that's that can be inserted into the game as like the backdrop, the sky, everything that surrounds your map. And it's almost like an infinite kind of box for the most part. And some are more literal. It, it just varies. But let's say that skyblocks were to be manipulated, if that skyblocks were to change, it could be really scary looking. Imagine the once pretty blue sky it turned into a bunch of spiders or i don't know if you have a phobia of fire they could turn the sky blocks into fire they could do all kinds of things with it with just a simple hack you can insert any image into it and that's pretty much what he did <laughs> it would be like continuous photos of his avatar but like with creepy demonic music and this was very reoccurring in like the games like Work at a Pizza Place, Natural Disaster, like all the OG games that people still play today. I really never thought I'd see the day Natural Disaster was doing better than Work at a Pizza Place. So it just goes to show what could still float around if there's not much competition. But it's just crazy to think about it, really, because... I, I was a big Work at a Pizza Place fan to the point where I was on the leaderboard for player points. I was like in 36th place because I played that game feverishly. It blew my mind that there was even people that could play that game more than me. But that game, I couldn't tell you how many times I went on that game and it was hacked. The exits were boarded up with pizzas. You couldn't spawn at your house. There was like creepy music playing. It was actually really easy to hack work at a pizza place before a dude wanted, made some changes and updates. I feel bad for that guy because he put a lot of time and effort into that game. Another thing he would do is he would turn invisible. So this guy would go in these games like super undetected. You wouldn't see him. Like sometimes he'd be there like actively hacking, messing around with the server. Or he would hack the server and then leave it. So he would mess with the server, leave, and then people would come in there, find it, and then they're like stuck or not sure what to do, not sure what's going on. It was just crazy. More games that were affected other than Work at the Pizza Place and Natural Disaster was Prison Life. That's another OG original game that people played pretty often, and he did some crazy things too. I don't really have any videos to go by, but from what I heard, like he kept his brand pretty simple and did a lot of the same reoccurring things. To People would know it was him. He was crazy. Now, jumping ahead to 2016, the year Cool Kid faced the music 
Roblox authorities had enough and banned him, or at least we thought. Whispers spread, did Cool Kid come back as anonymous underscore 2017? It's a rumor that this is Cool Kid. Now, there's been a lot of, there's been a lot of times where a group of people would come back and take the name of a, a retired hacker. The whole tubers, it was tubers nine something. You can look him up. And a lot of people try to take on his name. A lot of people tried to do what he was doing. But no one really knows for sure if the people that took on his name were just keeping the thing going or it was actually tubers. I feel like he wouldn't really put himself in this situation where he'd associate with people who would get him potentially caught. I don't really know. But that's almost what it seems like. He eventually made like a new player name and went by the name Coop Kid. So he took out the L and just put a P there and started going by Coop Kid. Not very different, still can keep up with the branding. But making even more hell, he went back to work at a pizza place and he made the map dark and the whole pizza joint disappeared. He got rid of it. And then you could hear the weird sounds. He would play creepy music, weird sound effects, all these scary, creepy things that would traumatize the nine-year-old fan base that plays that game. Pretty much me when I was still into that game, for sure. It was not a good time. But wait, there's more. Despite the ban, Cool Kid's legacy lived on again. After, what, like two, three bans already, he came back again. This guy is ruthless. At this point, I feel like they should have just IP banned him. When Roblox IP bans you, it means even if you log in from the same location, you cannot make a Roblox account because you won't be able to get into the website, period. They've done that for really notable hackers, but I'm surprised that it never crossed their mind that they could do that for this guy. Maybe it's because they didn't really realize it was the same person, or maybe they didn't put two and two together. Roblox was a very different time back then, so... It's hard to, to know what really was going on at the time. But he did have some friends that helped him live like live on his legacy. I'm gonna read the names. One of them was Jonas King Tet. The first guy's name was Jonas. The second guy was King Tet. Correct me if I'm wrong. Third guy was Wheels. And fourth guy was ADHD Yoshi. <laughs> I like that name. They carried on all the chaos. And they are part of the famous team called Cool Kid Join Today. That's literally what the group was called, Cool Kid Join Today. Not very creative, but again, if you're hacking, you don't really have to be. <laughs> it's one or the other. They had a huge following. And what's huge, they had a 7,000 following fan base. And I don't know if that was like for the Roblox group itself or the Discord. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think that group did get taken down. But the Discord is still up and running as of 2022. From what that was the last update. Players wondered would Cool Kid ever quit? The story changed again in 2018 when Team Cool Kid turned into a Discord server. And then on October 23rd, that is the date, like 2022, so like last year, they made another comeback. It's a very active Discord from what it seems like. As we roll through the ever-changing Roblox world, it's important to think about how Cool Kid's wild story still matters. Sure, he caused some chaos, but his impact shaped how people play and chat in the Roblox community. Shout out to Team Cool Kid Join today. I mean, if I could get that kind of following, <laughs> dang, I'd be set. But I'm not gonna hack to do it, that's crazy. Is he still going strong though? Pulling new fans and keeping that mischief alive. Now, if y'all want me to do more storytelling like this, give me a comment below. Give me a, tell me how I did. And tell me like what topics you'd want to hear more about. Maybe we could do an update on Cool Kid because he's pretty much active again, up and running after what seems like a decade. And honestly, I'm curious to see where he goes with it. Perk, work at a pizza place isn't as popular as it used to be. I know Dude One had a really good reign, like, over the Roblox main page for a while. But I just, I wonder what kind of games Cool Kid would take over now, or if that's even the real Cool Kid. Because... When you look at it, at the end of the day, it's much harder to hack in Roblox, and it's way less common now to see hacking in Roblox than it was all those years ago. It's rare to find a hacked game. 
and to the point where you, when, when you do find one it's a pretty big deal anyways that's all for today you guys